Hello, everybody. It's time for our daily briefing. This is how we just sit around and chit chat. We sit around and me and all my personalities sit around and chit chat about what's going on, how we handle it. And now that it's after the new year, oh boy, have we entered the no excuse zone? Oh, yes. All those promises you might have given to yourself as we've gone along. It just seems that most of my pickles, snowflakes, and turtles have been rather, rather um, good. Yeah, they've been adhering to their food plans. I haven't heard a lot of slippery stuff. Um, perhaps it's early in the um, ballot recall. And um, as the votes come in, we'll see how uh, a lot of us did over the season. I know that the the uh, food porn and um, the visuals were just almost, almost too much. And so I got really good at um, getting out of sites that suddenly turned uh, into nothing but keto-fied. And I did the same with the fast forwarding through the ads and um, and also uh, keto products come on when you know when keto came about and it was originally for people with seizures and now it's morphed into other things too for our health but it, it wasn't supplemented by keto products somehow we could find our way around the grocery store and we could get some um, leafy greens and uh, some some veggies that weren't um, too crazy with carbs and and other things, but you know, allowable things like that. And then we moved along the meat counter and be careful when you're buying certain things, you need to read the back of the packaging even on meat products today, because it gets kind of scary out there. Um, what did I see? Oh, I saw something like other flavorings and a package of ground beef. I usually buy the grass fed and it's been very reasonably priced, so my freezer is full with it. But we need to be careful. It's not, it's a jungle out there in the stores, even around the perimeters of the store. Dairy products, um, dangerous for some, stalling for some, uh, inflammatory for others. I know that uh, I'm going to try to do um, only having my good culture cottage cheese on my salad a few times a week instead of every time I have a salad. Just making little tweaks. It is the new year, right? So have you made yourself some promises and so far, so far you've kept them? Uh, resolutions, as it were, is part of that going to the gym, is part of that uh, cleaning up your act with maybe the the artificial sweeteners, those, those bottles of syrups that you add to your coffee, the um, Packets, the yellow, green, blue, the green is trivia. Um, packets that you put in your in your beverages or maybe sprinkle it on something. Um, maybe even um, diet sodas. Maybe even some gum. Maybe you've seen the carbs in your favorite pack of gum and although it might have been a BBC, better bad choice for a long, long time, maybe it's time to give up the habit I know, I know when I quit, I was having like 12 sticks a day, one to two carbs each, thinking, you know, I was still doing the under 20 because that didn't count. And also um, <clears throat> the bloat that that must have caused because, I, you know, I was doing it as a stress reliever when I had my uh, job at the, at the uh, shelter for women and children with substance abuse issues. And I know that that got me through a lot of the day. You know, when when the staff would go out and have a cigarette, I'd have a fresh stick of gum. <laughs> Better bad choice. So um, nothing too new in my food plan. Just as I said, I'm not having cottage cheese today with my salad. And um, that's fine. And so I will show you what I'm having today. I am having 1100, what does that say? Oh, 
That's weird. Oh, okay. I'm having 1,252 calories. My protein is 85.9. I like that. My total carbs are 4.8. And my fat, as it starts to fade, <laughs> is 98.2. So what am I having today? Well, it's an interesting menu. It's my leftover stew, except I no longer add the cream cheese or the butter to it. So I've reduced a, a portion of that. And, um, oh, that's interesting. It, it didn't come up as, um, hmm, let's see. Because I reduced that, but it doesn't show up as reduced now uh, on this version. No, it doesn't. Okay. Anyway, I'm having um, a cup of the leftover stew. I had one serving in the freezer, so that served me well. I made Greg a little one-serving meatloaf, <clears throat> and it has, like, you know, the breadcrumbs in it, so I'm not having it. Um, I am having two Pete and Jerry extra-large eggs. They, they didn't have any jumbo. I'm having seven grams of the uh, Fourth and Heart Pink Himalayan Ghee, um, with those two eggs. I'm having a small salad, 69 grams of Trader Joe's baby butter lettuce, uh, 10 grams of macadamia nut oil, and seven grams of the fourth and heart. I am having, uh, I'm also having two to three cups of coffee today with just one tablespoon of the heavy whipping cream in it. I gave up the added goodies. But um, this is not as accurate as I would have wanted it because somehow it hasn't s synced with what I put on my chrono um, online here. But that's what I'm doing. Have you, have you made any changes in your food plan um, or agenda or what you're going to have now that it's the new year? Have the, <laughs> what is it, have the... Um, Capistranos come home to roost. What's that saying? Anyway, uh, so, you know, I'm just doing little tweaky deeks. It just works. My calories and my, my macros are great because I'm having, having more protein. I've become, I've come to believe that an older woman probably does well with the more protein for the um, aging muscles. And um, so that's, that's how it's going for me. Um, I have, a, I have a client that does a lot of researching and sends me the results. And so we share a lot of goodies between each other. Like this is a video, go ahead and watch it. I didn't like this video, don't bother. And she found a doctor that she liked. And um, he, was, he was giving sage advice in his podcast. And she found that um, it was a pleasant experience to go through it. And then she found out he's... He's a part owner of one of those keto food companies where, you know, they do a really great job of marketing and convincing you that you need to have that in your keto food plan or it won't be, it won't be done right. And as most of us know here, um, we do our keto the way that we do our keto, what works for us. We, that's why I call us snowflakes because each one of us is different. And what might work for me might not work for you. Um, and especially when people are heading towards carnivore and having a kind of carniv carnivish kind of food plan, it is interesting to see that, um, you know, we hold on to some things. Some people, and when it comes to carnivore, there's, you know, a hundred different ways of doing it as well. There's some that do no spices whatsoever. There's some that allow salt and pepper. There's some that wouldn't dream of having pepper. There are some that uh, have dairy, some don't, some have beef only. It, it's, there's just a myriad of different ways of doing carnivore. And you would think, well, that's simple enough. It's just meat. Well, no, once again, you know, differences appear. And it's good if, it's some, if, it, if the video is done by somebody that you admire and you admire how they operate their, their food plan, then stick with them. Hopefully they won't have a keto um, marketing uh, product that uh, you can't do without in your 
program. Um, so I don't, I don't do those additives. I did have the um, Omega Power creamers that I did the review on that you can find on Amazon. And I do like the ingredients and I will, I will have those, um, you know, heavy whipping cream, one of the uh, power creamers, heavy whipping cream. I'm not having a lot. I'm having seven grams of the power creamer when I have it. And I'm having 14 grams of the heavy whipping cream that is uh, organic and does not have carrageenan in it. So, you know, we're just going along. Um, I'm tweaking my cottage cheese, which seems like a non a non inflammatory item for me, but I'm just going to go and have smaller portions of it. Um, not as many times per week. See how that goes. And uh, I do have I do. Sometimes I have uh, Brussels sprouts, asparagus or cauliflower during the week, along with a small salad. Um, and uh, who knows, maybe when my chronometer syncs with my online chronometer uh, here on my laptop, things will things will coordinate and I might add more of something, something. Have you made any uh, New Year's kind of changes that you promised yourself? <clears throat> Have you been naughty? So it's time to get back on track or do something that you haven't done before because you realize that sometimes lazy or dirty or messy kind of keto isn't that safe for you after all, that you got into some nibbling trouble and you might have remained keto with the nibbles but it's the snacking you know that's when dr fung says no period snacking period ever period and every time you have that you know it spikes mike from keto mad had a had a pretty interesting video um i had to watch it um more than two times just to get a grasp of it but the spiking insulin def definitely happens with snacking and even if you're just having a little something something like a handful of nuts that you couldn't resist that aren't weighed and measured that would be dangerous territory for me that you um you spike your insulin and uh people say that to me all the time about having the heavy whipping cream or the power creamer in my um coffees that i have before my omad and that i'm breaking my fast okay if that's, if that's how you want to look at it, maybe I am breaking my fast, but I will have my OMAD. Um, I have it every 23 to 24 hours, and OMAD stands for one meal at a day. If you are new to this program, that was your promise. You've researched it for like 19 months, gained 28 pounds in, the, in doing it, and now you realize I'm going to give keto a chance, and you're a beginner. If you have under one month, I never heard from anybody the first time I offered this. So this is, if you are very, very, very brand shiny new to keto under 30 days, then I have this book to send you. So please, um, you know, tell me that you have under 30 days so other people can, um, you know, so you can enjoy this. Because after 30 days, you probably will have learned a lot of the things that are in this. So... One thing you need to know about me here, and I will do more videos about that this week as we enter into the first week of the new year, is that I'm not a keto fire. I buy whole foods, real foods. Um, sometimes I have feedlot beef. Um, other times I buy grass fed, um, sometimes grass finished, who knows? I, I'm not pure in that sense. I do buy organic veggies though. I do buy um, the best oil that I can find. Usually it's macadamia nut oil and fourth and heart pink Himalayan ghee that I put on my salad. I kind of melt them in a little baby teacup that I have and have that and enjoy it. But it's just eating cleaner and eating abstinent. And I don't eat something and then add it to my tracker. That's kind of like the cart pulling the horse and missing the point of remaining abstinent and what's in my food plan. Yes, I do weigh and measure because uh, with liquids, especially with macadamia nut and ghee and heavy whipping cream um, and the power creamer, I can get very, very messy. And I can, 
you know, I, I was a bartender. I was a free pour bartender and I have a heavy hand and I can make, I can call it 14 grams of heavy whipping cream in my tracker and not use my kitchen scale and end up with 35 grams of heavy whipping cream. Oh, that's real easy. So I have to be very, very careful about um, measuring and weighing. And uh, I'm having more protein because I've got that old, older metabolism. It took a couple of years to get through to me that protein's not the problem. Thank goodness for people that I respect in the field that say that. And um, especially being an older woman with things just slowly going away, like bones. Why add muscles if I can have some protein, right? So I do it a day at a time. I track, I weigh, I measure, I'm strict, I'm disciplined. And if you need some of that in your life, a little brief pause for my own marketing, you can find me at ketocoachingsarah.com, ketocoachingsarah.com. And I offer different packages of like 30 day sort of things, phone calls, emails, chronometer, and just cleaning up the habits. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a, do I'm not a doctor. I didn't marry a doctor. I'm a failure. But no, I do, I do find that a lot of the bad habits have naughty foods in them and things that you might not need in your keto, abstinent, clean food program. So that's what we work on. And because I can read your tracker and what you're having, I can help you with the foods that you choose. And um, so that's that. This is a wrap. I've gone on to the. Mayflower has already landed at Plymouth. <laughs> wow, 1620. Anyway, that's it for me from here, and I will see you the next time. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with a little talking about January and the cleanup that's involved. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.